Have you ever come across something so intriguing in life that you just can't let it go? That's what this bolt has been doing to me lately. So I was reviewing the comments on another video I did relative to how do you easily identify an inch or imperial or a metric bolt. And one of the comments on that video was, hey James, have you ever seen a bolt that has a four or a six or a seven stamped on the head? I can't figure out any information on them. And I thought to myself, you know, I actually have. My lawnmower, which is a Kubota F3060, has a bunch of those bolts on it. And I have yet to been able to figure out what they were. So I took it upon myself this morning to re-engage in research on internet using Google and other resources to try to figure out what are these things. And I finally got it. So follow along and let's see what are these crazy bolts that none of us can figure out what they are. So as I started my exploration looking for these bolts that have these seven or four marks on the head, this took me all over the place. You can see I was searching for everything from bolt with a number seven on it to standards regulating bolts and many things in between. Now this is not the first time I've searched for these pieces of hardware. So as I did, I, like I mentioned, started with bolt with a number seven on it. And one of the common things I do when I'm looking for something like this is when I go to Google and I search it, I actually go to the images section and commonly I can find something visually that will represent what it is that I'm actually looking for. So in this case, right off the bat, I get multiple fasteners that show me bolts with a number seven or bolts with a number four. And as I explored a bunch of these pages, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for until I came across this one. And what this one really did for me in particular was not only did it show the bolt and the number seven stamped on the head, but it also was talking about genuine JIS bolt from our supplier in Japan. So JIS meaning Japanese industrial standards. Now it's making some sense. So I wanted to get a little more information on the different standards that were used to regulate hardware. So I'm very familiar with the American Society of Mechanical Engineers or ASME, uh, pretty familiar with the International Standards Organization or ISO, but it was in particular less familiar with the, D the DIN, DIN standards or German industrial standards, as well as the Japanese industrial standards and of course the European as well. So I started doing some searches for those particular terms, trying to find something that related to these bolts that had a number four or number seven on the head. In one of these searches, I ended up stumbling upon standards referring to the JIS B1180, so Japanese industrial standard. And it just so happened that there was some different sites that had excerpts of these standards that I could actually look at. So in this one in particular, the 1180 standard does refer to hex head bolts and screws. And I thought, man, I'm right on its tail. So as I read through this standard, I could not find anything in here that specifically called out and showed anything relative to those types of marketings that I was looking for, except for this one statement, that refers to markings. And it says, markings on the product shall be in accordance with these other standards. So the search continues. In particular, I cared most about this one for steel bolts or the B1051. I was searching Google and again, came across some different excerpts of the standard as well as one that was mostly whole that started talking through this 1051. So as I looked down at this 1051, it caught my attention immediately when I got to this first paragraph and it refers to 4T and 7T. So I was hot on this trail. And this standard in particular talks about externally threaded fasteners and the test standards, et cetera, and the dimensions of some of the hardware. So as I started to scroll down through, in particular, I get to table number two, which talks about the different class strengths or the classification system used for strength identification, which was very normal for metric hardware that I have seen in the past. 
my excitement kind of diminished a little bit as I was trying to understand again, what are these 4T and 7T bolts? However, on that first page, it did reference an annex. So as I got to the annex, I was just ecstatic. I finally found it. I finally figured it out. What myself and I feel a bunch of other people had been looking for is these bolts that are marked 4T up to a 7T. So here's the scope of the annex. Specifically, it's regarding the testing inspection marking of steel bolts and machine screws with this 4T, 5T, 6T, or 7T rating. Now, this is the most important piece here. This annex shall be abolished in the future. And these strength classes shall be converted to strength classes in the main text, which were the ones that we all know in traditional metric hardware. What so many people are looking for is a 4T is and will be converted to, in the future, a strength class of 4.6 or 4.8. 5T goes to 5, 6, or 5, 8. So you can see that the 5 goes to 5, 6 goes to 6. However, 7, an odd one, 7T actually is the 8 class. You might say abolished in the future. It's important to note that this standard I'm looking at is from 1991 vintage. So what I'm presuming is these pieces of hardware were used for a reasonably short period of time and in a relatively controlled geographical region, probably just in Japan and maybe some of the surrounding areas. So many people around the globe really hadn't experienced them a lot unless you get a product like My Kubota Lawnmower, which is produced in Japan in a certain time frame where a large chunk of the bolts have that type of marking on them. Now the bolts are metric. They are just graded slightly different or classed slightly different the way that they're labeled on the head. They still measure the same as far as diameter of the bolt and thread to thread pitch of the bolt. It's just that they're identified different with the head marking. So one little bonus tip of information that I'll share with you that I found was fascinating. There's actually indicators of shape that can also indicate strength class. I've never seen them, but I thought it was really neat. So as I scrolled down through here, I found this alternative strength class marking for stud bolts. Now specifically stud bolts. So an 8.8 .8 or an eight class could be a circle, a 9.8 could be a plus, a 10.9 could be a square, and a 12.9 could be a triangle. So I thought that was neat. Not to be confused with manufacturing markings. I know there's a producer in Canada of hardware that has a triangle shape on the head of the bolt, which identifies their mark as a manufacturer. Not to be confused with the triangle here for stud bolts that would indicate it as a 12.9. So that was a really fun investigation. I'm glad I took the time to do that. I'm also thankful for the comment in the other video about what is this bolt with a seven marked on the head. Now we know it's part of the Japanese industrial standards and one of the ways to mark their metric hardware. So if you enjoyed this content, please, if you would hit the like button, it does make a difference on how this video gets promoted to other people. If you enjoy the content I'm producing, feel free to hit the subscribe button and follow along with new videos to come. So I will see you on the next one. Stay curious, friends.